Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Madeline Schmidt. The UNM community is stunned tonight after a Lobo baseball player was shot and killed in Albuquerque. It happened early this morning in Knob Hill, where members of the community are calling for more police on the streets. News 13's Elena Mendoza is here with the latest on his death. Madeline, there's still a very little known about what happened, and tonight no one is in custody for the death of 23-year-old Jackson Weller. Tonight, a small memorial for Jackson Weller sits in the University of New Mexico's baseball locker room. There's no reason for it. This neighborhood needs a better police presence. It needs less bars and restaurants and more community activity in a positive sense instead of a negative sense. The college junior was set to take the field this fall, but around 2 a.m. Saturday, police say he was shot and killed in Knob Hill. Details of what led up to the shooting are still unclear. But the owner of the nearby bar and vibe tell us their surveillance cameras captured the entire deadly confrontation. The shooting proves this popular area of Albuquerque is no exception to gun violence, a major problem the city says it's actively working to solve. What were the community factors that we could sort of impact that might have prevented these folks from, you know, being together at the wrong time or with a gun in the street, uh, you know, in Knob Hill in the middle of the night. Many community members think more police here, especially on weekend nights when the bars are closing, is one answer to the issue. I would feel way more secure. Today, police would not tell us how many officers were in the area at the time of the shooting or how long it took to respond to the shooting. Mayor Tim Keller, who just sent letters to UNM prospects encouraging them to come here despite our unique challenges, released a statement in part saying Albuquerque will continue to fight back against gun violence in quote, every way. City Councilor Pat Davis says the loss of a student is just as saddening as it is frustrating. Hopefully this is one homicide that brings more attention and solutions to the table than others have. APD's Triangle substation in Knob Hill was reopened last summer to give more police presence, but it's only staffed until 10 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday. Madeline? All right, thank you, Elena. The Lobos canceled today and tomorrow's games to give their players time to cope with this loss.